you can help save lives. We are going to share with you some key steps to take in the event of a chemical, biological, radiological, or nuclear CBRN, also known as hazardous material or hazmat attack. I want to emphasize that anybody can follow these steps. You don't need to have any medical training whatsoever. We encourage you to review now and use in real time during an event to help you remember key steps to protect you, your family, and your community. There are three immediate actions that are most important if an attack with a CBRN weapon occurs. Red, recognize, evacuate, decontaminate. Recognize. Step one is to recognize an attack with a CBRN weapon. Often, there will be an explosion, but not always. Following an explosion, look for whether people in the area are developing similar symptoms like trouble breathing, coughing, vomiting, trouble seeing, skin burning, rash, or seizures. You may also see an unusual color smoke, a cloud of oily liquid, or small particles and may smell a strange odor. If you notice any of these, suspect that a CBRN weapon was used. Evacuate. Step two is to evacuate the area. You need to get away from the scene as quickly as you can. The longer you stay, the longer you may be exposed. So do not wait. If you can tell which way the wind is blowing, walk into the wind to get upwind and get to higher ground. If you are safe in your location, and no one is showing symptoms, stay in place until directed by civil authorities. Decontaminate. Step three is to decontaminate, which means to remove as much of the hazardous substance as you can from your body. You'll do this in five steps. Step one, brush off any particles that are on your clothing or body immediately, but don't use your hands or touch the particles with bare skin. Instead, use any available item you can to brush off the dust or particles. Step two, as soon as you are able, remove your clothes. Removing clothes can remove as much as 90% of hazards, so it is an essential step to get hazardous substances away from your body. It is important to remember not to bring any contaminated clothing into your house. All contaminated clothing must stay outdoors. Step three, place contaminated clothing in a plastic bag that can be sealed if possible but remember, don't touch the clothing with your bare skin after it is removed. Step four, as soon as possible, after you have removed your clothing, you should shower with soap and water for at least two minutes. Gently scrub the skin, but do not break the skin while scrubbing. If you don't have access to a shower, you can use any source of water, a hose, or river, or lake. Step five, put on clean clothes and wait for more information from civil authorities. If you feel ill with trouble breathing or coughing, vomiting, vision trouble, skin burning, rash, seizures, or other concerning symptoms, you should seek immediate medical care. To summarize, remember RED. Recognize, evacuate, decontaminate. Be sure to watch our other videos with specific actions and antidotes for various CBRN threats.